Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 10th of 2024 is titled Simulation, Two Black Holes Merge. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a simulation that we will watch that shows the merger of two black holes. Now this is related to the first detection of gravitational waves back in 2015. Now when they were detected, it was found that they could be explained by the merger of two black holes at a distance of about 1.3 billion light years. Now those black holes would have been about 36 and 31 times the mass of our sun. So they would have then merged together. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the video and watch this on repeat a little bit as we as we see. And we see that the two are orbiting around each other. Now black holes are dominated by their gravity so they will orbit just like other objects. And here we see around them the distortions which are caused simply by the gravity of those black holes. So the fact that the stars seem to be whipping around really those stars are not changing their positions. Those are distant stars behind and they are remaining exactly the same. However, they what happens is that the d space becomes distorted and the light of those stars has to travel through that distorted space and that is what we are seeing so it's the fact that the intense gravitational fields as light happens to pass close to these two black holes is what causes the effects now we'll see that as they actually merge together when they actually get close enough and finally merge we see that things settle down very quickly and that there is now very little change. Pretty much now we're not getting that changes in the positioning of the two black holes and that was what was causing the gravitational fields to change. Now there's just one large gravitational field and everything is distorted but it's all distorted consistently. There is no change. When the black holes are moving around each other, then their positioning changes and the, the overall gravitational shape of the gravitational field, the gravitational well, as we might call it there, is constantly changing. Now, as the two spiral closer together and move faster and faster, they emit gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are actually emitted by any object with mass. So anything moving emits gravitational waves. That can include you or I. And as we move, we emit gravitational waves. But because we're moving slowly and because our masses are so small, those gravitational waves would not be detectable. In order to detect them currently, we need things that are moving very fast at a good fraction of the speed of light and things that are extremely massive. And that's why we look for black holes, because two merging black holes would then meet both of those criteria, give us very large amounts of mass and give us the very rapid motion that occurs as they spiral closer and closer together. And this is what we believe happened to the two black holes here, one of 36 solar masses, one of 31, leaving a black hole of 63 solar masses. Now, if you do your math there, you'll find that that does not add up. As you'll see that that is missing several solar masses worth. Where did those solar masses go? You can't just destroy matter. It can't just disappear, but it can be converted. And in this case, it was converted into energy and gravitational waves. That And that is what was detected by the LIGO uh, uh, telescope that was set up specifically to detect gravitational waves. And this is a simulation of what would have occurred during for that first detection that was de made back in 2015. So that was our picture of the day for May 10th of 2024. It was titled Simulation Two Black Holes Merge. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be what's 42 minus 5. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.